Hello, I'm Bishop Lou Tilka of the Diocese of Peoria. And as we celebrate the wonderful solemnity of Pentecost this year in 2023, I thought it opportune to release a video along with a letter that is published in the Catholic Post to update the diocese on our progress as we move forward seeking to build a mission-driven, vibrant church for tomorrow. As you may recall, we have outlined an aspect of our diocese called Five Foundations on which to build our future. We've also began a pastoral planning process, which is an opportunity for us to see how we can grow for the future. We certainly look to the early apostles and their commitment to go out and preach the gospel as disciples of Jesus to bring others into an encounter with the Lord's love and mercy so that their lives could be transformed. In following their example, we recognize that we have a great task ahead as we look across our diocese knowing that we need to go out and be those disciples today who engage our people in a deep relationship with the Lord and that they take that relationship developing it in their own heart and seeking to share that in the hearts of others. In the 26 counties that make up the Diocese of Peoria, we have approximately 130,000 Catholics, but there are over a million people who live in our 26 counties. And so we have a lot of work to do going out to share that gospel message, that love of Jesus with them. As we look to the future, we know that there are going to be difficult decisions that are necessary for us to undertake because we live in a very different world. As the Holy Father has reminded us many times, we're living in a new apostolic age, a new time for us to go out to be the church, to meet people where they're at, and to invite them into this relationship with Jesus and his church. In order to do so, we have to be wise in the use of the resources that God has blessed us with. Not only the blessing of the financial resources and the actual physical resources of our parishes, but the resources of our priests, as well as our lay faithful, who all must be engaged in this mission of a vibrant, mission-driven church. When we look to that reality, we know that we do simply not have enough for the task that we have at hand today. Where currently, there are approximately 125 priests active in our diocese. And in just a short period of time, which may sound a lot longer than it is, in the year 2050, we believe that we will only have between 65 and 80 priests to serve our diocese. Therefore, we have to re-envision what our structure of parishes will be so that we can best serve the communities that we serve and invite others to come and join us in the church. We also have to be great stewards of those physical things that God has given to us to support our mission. And so we will likely have to close parishes and merge parishes, but it's not just about closings and mergers. It is really about going out to make disciples, which is why we chose that title for the pastoral plan. It is going out to spread the gospel. It is going out to invite others into the relationship that we already have and share with Jesus. It's allowing them to come to know the Lord, especially to know the Lord in the Eucharist, because it is in the Eucharist, the source and summit of our lives as Catholics, that the love of Jesus is made present to us each and every day. As we go out, we do so with great confidence. We do so because we know that the apostles, the disciples before us, did exactly what we are now trying to do in a renewed way. We do so knowing that we have five foundations that we've been able to articulate, evangelization, discipleship, the Eucharist, vocations, and the legacy of Venerable Fulton Sheen, so that we can build the church that we dream of, more importantly, that God dreams of for us. And so I invite you to read the letter that has been posted in our Catholic Post, the diocesan newspaper, as well on the website, so that you can understand even more what it is that we are seeking to do as we go forward in this mission. I thank you for all of your commitment and your love and your dedication to be a part of the Catholic Church in the Diocese of Peoria. And I pray for the openness and the guidance of the Holy Spirit for us all as we seek to go forward growing disciples.